Right you guys, got another video here for you on Windows apps that you should uninstall immediately. These are our apps that have become end of life and they are not being supported anymore. And if you've got an old installation still running on your computer, then there's a big chance that some of these software could be still on your system and you need to uninstall it. And if you do use this particular type of software, you need to start thinking about moving away from it and finding other alternatives too of the software that you're using. So let's go through some of these software that have actually uh, become end of life. So the first one we're looking at is QuickTime. QuickTime uh, was made by Apple, and you can see here QuickTime 7 for Windows is no longer supported by Apple, new versions of Windows since 2009, and they've basically ceased any sort of support for uh, QuickTime. So if you've got QuickTime installed on your PC, it's time to remove it. There's plenty of other alternatives which you can use like VLC and other programs like that, which will uh, literally uh, replace QuickTime. So you can check your programs here by going to Control Panel. Just type Control Panel in the search box here and then open up Control Panel. Inside here, go to Uninstall a Program. If you're on the large icons view, then you want to look for the uh, programs and features here. So here it is, programs and features. And inside here, you're looking for QuickTime. This is the one you want to remove. If you see it on here, you need to uninstall it. Just like so, and remove it. And then go ahead and download VLC, which is an alternative uh, to this, which is way better, and uh, it's a lot safer. Next up, we're talking about Java. Some people still use Java, which is your JDK uh, development uh, kit, which they use. But it's not the same thing as the Java runtime environment, which is your JRE. And this is the one that you need to uninstall on your system. If you can move away from Java and you don't need Java anymore, you should uninstall all of the Java on your PC. It's a massive uh, security risk. Cyber uh, criminals will uh, exploit this and basically you can end up uh, being a victim of their attacks. Now, if you do have the Java Runtime Environment uh, JRE for short on your system, you really want to uninstall that. Now, you can either uninstall that via the uh, control panel, uh, uninstall programs, or you can use their built-in tool, which they offer here, which is the to uninstall uh, Java versions. You can accept their terms and conditions here and then basically download their tool no Java versions were detected. And that's because uh, we don't have the JRE on here. But what we do have is another version of Java, uh, which is your JDK versions. But if you do want to uninstall uh, those as well, you can uninstall those from here as well. You can just highlight these and uninstall them from your PC, just like so. Very simple and easy to do. Now, another one I want to talk about here is the Shockwave player and also the Flash player. Now, these are probably not going to be installed on your system, but I'll mention them just in case. So you can see here they have retired Flash. The support for Flash ended on December 31st, 2020. And also we have Shockwave here, which has also uh, been um, ended by uh, Adobe as well. Now, this was the universal standard for video games and web content and other things like that back in the uh, early days. And again, a lot of people used to use it for playing old Flash games and things like that. But they are really high security risk now and that they've seen support for those. So if you do have them on your system or maybe you're using an older PC uh, with older hardware, then you might want to consider uninstalling those because they are pretty much a security risk to you. So if they are on your system, again, they will be inside uh, your add and remove programs and you can uh, basically uninstall these by going into here and you should see Shockwave and things like that inside there. Um, on Windows 11, you're not going to have it on your system, but if you have got it on there for an older system, then it's always advisable to uninstall these. Now, next up, we've got Silverlight. Uh, this was created by Microsoft. It ended support. Uh, for it in October 12th, uh, 2021. And uh, again, you will be able to uninstall this on your system if it is still on your computer. You don't really need to use Silverlight anymore. And uh, you can see here, there is no download link for it. It just takes you to this page here. 
that gives you information. If you try to click on this, it will just give you a 404 file uh, error. So you won't be able to download this anymore, but if it's already on your system, you may want to uninstall it from your computer. And the way you can do that again is straight into your control panel and add and remove programs basically and uninstall it from here. So you should see it inside here, Silverlight is here. Now, sometimes this gets downloaded in those sort of bundles that you get with all your .NET frameworks and they sort of uh, packaged it in there with those as well. And that's how it can get installed on your system again. So if it is on there, you're best to just uninstall this from your computer. Um, and you'll see these ones here, the Microsoft Visual C++. These are the ones that I've seen getting bundled in packages with Silverlight. So if it is in there, you really don't want it on your system. Okay, so moving on now to Apple software. And Apple software on Windows is a big no-no because Microsoft uh, don't really support Apple products. They don't uh, roll out updates enough for it. So if you're using anything like iTunes or Bonjour or Apple mobile device support or anything like that, you really don't want to be using any of that on a Windows-based system. So if it is on your computer, then you're probably best to remove it. You may maybe see something like this, um, Apple mobile device support. You'll get Apple software updates. You'll get Bonjour on here as well, and you'll get iTunes. You really want to move all of these uh, to the uninstall here. So just get rid of all of these. These are all part of the iTunes or Apple products. And when you download one of these, it will install all of this other stuff on your computer as well. And Microsoft doesn't really update these on a regular basis. So you are asking for trouble uh, with this sort of stuff on your PC. Now, Apple and Windows are two different products, two different operating systems. And if you wanted to go down the uh, Apple ecosystem, then maybe you should have bought a Mac or something like that because really Microsoft doesn't really sort of uh, update uh, Apple products as much as they should, uh, because obviously it doesn't uh, concern them. It's to do with Apple. So if you are using iTunes and other things like that, then maybe consider using another uh, media sort of software. So I'm just going to go ahead and uninstall all of these uh, from the system and get rid of them. Now, another thing I want to cover is uh, browser extensions. These can really slow down your browsing experience. And also these can uh, be a security risk as well, uh, especially if you don't know where these sort of extensions come from. Now, as you can see here, this browser has quite a lot of them on here. I've seen way more than this on a browser and people wonder why they are getting slow browsing or their browser is uh, really sluggish. And that's because you are running all of these extensions in your browser. Now, I understand that some people like to have certain extensions in there because it makes their life a lot easier but i try to keep it as minimalistic as possible inside my browser having one or two items in there is not going to really cause too much problems depending on what they are but again i see so many people loading it up with security add-ons and this just really does slow down the performance of your browsing experience uh, you know so pretty much your browser is secure already it comes with plenty of security built into it so you don't really need to add loads of extensions in here now you can toggle these off but it's much better to remove them by hitting the remove button and you can see here some of these ones when you go to uninstall them they want you to jump through a bunch of oops just to uninstall it off your pc and this is typical for a lot of extensions that you can install on your browser when you go to remove them you end up having to go through this bunch of palaver just to get them off the system so i tend not to use them as you can see this one here it, uh, it just doesn't want you to uninstall it. Uh, so you can go to other and just want, now it wants your email address and a message. So, you know, you can just put a bit of a gobbledygook in here and uh, just basically push send request and it will uninstall this off your uh, PC and your browser. So I just want to cover here a little bit about uh, bloated software, which gets added in from PC manufacturers. If you're buying any sort of Dell or any sort of printer, uh, it's going to come with their software and the software is where all of their bloat is added into. You only need a driver to run uh, printers. You don't need all their bloat there that comes with it. The same thing for any sort of PC you buy. When you buy a brand new computer, it normally comes with a load of bloat that you don't need. And you're going to have to go along and uninstall all of that. This could be trialware or, or, or stuff like that that you don't really actually need on your PC. 
And what I mean by bloatware is when you install programs like these, they try to give you other optional offers added in with their installers. And this is going to be software like this, which you get for free. But when it's free, they want to add in other things. And what people do is they accept this. And before you know it, you're going to get another piece of software getting installed on your PC. This is sort of open candy sort of uh, thing where you're going to end up getting other software that you never ask for. So as you can see, C Cleaner does exactly the same thing. A lot of these free programs do. And uh, again, you don't need software like this on your PC. They're just going to keep upselling you, trying to get you to buy the pro version and say that you need it. And you really don't. So all of this stuff is pretty much obsolete nowadays. You can use uh, free versions of ones just like this, which don't even install on your PC. They're portable and they're the ones you really want to go for if you really need some sort of cleaning uh, solution for your PC. Anyway, that is going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I just want to say a special shout out to my tier three YouTube members group, which is uh, Welsh Tony One, also Geo Sam, Albert Euston, and also Gary Belts. Thank you very much for the support. If you have joined my Discord server and you're a YouTube member, don't forget to let me know in the general chat and I'll give you the appropriate role for your tier that you've joined. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.